We are back with another custom figure. I'll be working with the SH Monster Arts Godzilla from Godzilla vs Kong. My idea is to modify and repaint it to make it look like the new Godzilla from the trailer. Some of the things we will do in order to get that look will be sanding and painting the dorsal fins along with sculpting spikes on his elbow and on his tail. And now to begin the customization. We will begin by sanding down the dorsal fins with 320 grit sandpaper. We are doing this so that the paint sticks well to the figure. You don't want to sand a lot, we're just going to do it very lightly. This is how the dorsal fins look sanded, not much of a difference. But you can see some light scuffs, which is what we want. To make the end of the tail accurate, we need to add dorsal fins. Since the dorsal fins stick out, I'll be making a hole in the middle of the tail. As you can see, I made a very small hole and I'll be using a paper clip as a base for the sculpting. I threaded the paper clip into the tail and made a V shape so we could sculpt on it. Here's how the left side looks sculpted. And here both sides are fully sculpted and already dried. As you can see the right side was not done but I needed it to dry so I can go again and sculpt the details. I sanded down the edges to make them a little bit sharper. And for the same technique for the middle one I used it again for the other dose fins. I also added some epoxy glue just to make sure that they don't move around. After scoping all the dorsal fins for the tail, this is how it looks. After that, I just added some black paint on the tail. And then with my airbrush, I just added some grays. Here's a quick overview on how it looks together. The color difference is still kind of noticeable, but I will fix that later on. Now for sculpting the spikes on the elbow, I made a mistake. As you can see here, I applied the epoxy sculpt straight on the figure which is the incorrect way as it won't have anything to hold on to. I even went as far as creating it on both sides, but since there was no support, they easily broke off. So what I did next was remove all the previous sculpt and do the same thing I did for the tail. So what I did was I made a hole on each arm so I could place a metal rod on each side. I inserted the rods on each arm and I added epoxy glue to make sure they don't move. Now that there was support, I was able to fully scope the spikes. And now to paint the dorsal fins. I will be priming everything blue into white. Here's how everything looks primer. I use an airbrush but you could use anything. I made sure to even to get all the blue parts on his face. And now for the pink dorsal fin color, I use the colors white, pink, and silver. And with my airbrush, I painted all the white parts pink. And as you can see, some of the skin got pink but will be painted over later on.
And for the tip of the dorsal fins, I added white to highlight them. And on the feet, I added some brown to make them look dirty. And also fixed all the paint over sprays on the body. And for the final reveal, this is my Godzilla X-Con Custom. Here's a closer look at the head, which I try to make it look like from the trailer. And that's it for this Godzilla custom. Let me know how you think it came out in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next custom.